Hi Floss Tube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 228. If you're new to my channel, this is Channel Bop Cross Stitch, so I hope you stick around and like what you see and subscribe, do the YouTube things. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming back this week to see what I've been up to. Um, right off the top, I am in, I feel so much more energy. The sun has been out. Um, it is so what this soul needed. So awesome. Um, I've also done a tiny bit of rearranging. If you've been here for a long time, you've seen this chair before and then it gone away. And anyway, it's back. Uh, new puppy in the house causes all kinds of crazy to happen. So <laughs> it is what it is, but, um, I am so excited to be back this week and visit. I feel rested. The stuff with the puppy is going great. Um, thank you for all of the love and receiving in regards to us getting a new one and that I have a handful here. I do, <laughs> but oh well. So let's get into the stitching. First, a couple of came things of business and then we'll do the stitching. Um, if you've never been here before or if you have not filled out the Happy Mail um, form, I have a Happy Mail form in the links below. And if you uh, have never filled it out or are interested in it, it's something that I just use to send out Happy Mail once a month. Um, I just like to connect and everybody likes to get a little card in the mail. So I just randomly pull people and send something out. There's other links in the description also of my friends that have online needle shops. Um, they sell bags, they sell fabric. They, um, some of them have Facebook groups in regards to that. T-shirts, uh, just take a gander if you're into the market for any of that stuff. Of course, with Nashville, Nashville Needle, Nashville Market right around the corner, I'm sure. Um, everyone is starting and it, that's the buzz in the air about headed that way and starting to get lists and see the new designs that are coming out. I, I'm also watching as those new, new designs come out and trying to be good. I, I shouldn't say be good. I should say I, I constantly reevaluate, uh, am I going to have time to stitch this and whatnot? So anyway, all that to say that, that that's all going on in the world right now. So, and um, with that, we're gonna move into one of my favorite segments on here and it is my featured friend. Uh, this featured friend has been on here before. She is a dear friend of mine. Her name is Chrissy. Um, I actually have three things that I'm gonna show you from Chrissy because it has been, a, things have been piling up and Chrissy is a stitcher. So um, I'm just gonna share hers here because come up, a couple of them were Christmas and I don't wanna get too far behind that. So um, with that, let's jump into what Chrissy has. So pop in the pictures in here. Uh, the first one that she has is a, um, a little Stitch Girl piece called Pumpkin Park. She finished that on a cute little board and it's on display. I love that little look of like just popping it on there. Um, super cute. The second one that you have is she finished stitching it. She hasn't had it framed. I don't think she's had it framed yet. Maybe she has. Um, and I've missed it, but it's the Caterpillar's Christmas Sal for this for this last year, Christmas Wonderland. We saw a different version of it last week from our other um, featured friend. And the last but not least is this beautiful piece from Shannon Christine. It's her Christmas ones that she was putting out, and um, those look gorgeous. I Chrissy knows that I love the fabric choices that she has used and um, I love that cute little finishing style. I have a few of those around here in my house also. So thank you very much, Chrissy, for sharing your stitching to um, give inspiration to others. And if you would like to do that, please do not hesitate to send an email to janetjabber at gmail.com and I'll get it entered into the queue so we can continue to have this segment on this channel of Featured Friends. So um, thank you for that. With that, we're gonna move into my stitching for this week. I do not have any finishes. Vicki, did you hear that? I have no finishes. She picks on me that I am like a finishing fiend, but I do have a lot of stitching to share with you. So the first one that I'm going to share with you is my Mirabilia piece. Queen of Peace is my Mirabilia that I'm stitching on currently. Um, and I'm still stuck in the same color because I just, it's close enough to count off and I don't know. So I just currently am still going with it. And where I'm at now is right here. So still working with number 318, I believe. Um, since I have seen you last, I feel, I know that this is all done and this is outlined. Um, to be honest with you, I can't recall if I did that last time or not, but definitely this is like probably from the shape of this, I could see that it's like where she's kneeling part, where not kneeling, but her knee is popping up. So, um, oops, lights getting it. 
She's looking good. I feel like I may move on to another color this week and maybe not. I don't know. There's another great big chunk of, there's another, of this color, there's another chunk of it that comes like here. So you may have one more week of the boring uh, gray color before I start popping in the other one. I'm excited to get to the other color, but I just want to get those big chunks that are real close together um, stitched up. So that is my pink queen of peace. Um, my next one for the month of February, I am focusing on Do Dr. Maya Angelou's piece. My friend Candy, the 614 stitcher, is also stitching on this. This is She is the reason that I am stitching this. Um, so this is, it's in the bag, but this is what it'll look like. Um, a beautiful quote from the doctor. I converted everything to color and cotton um, threads that I have in my stash. And it is on a 40 count. I don't remember the color right now, but um, basically what I did, I feel like not a lot, but a lot. So February just started, so I'm not beating myself up. But I usually I try to get these things done in this year. This will not be done this month, so it will definitely go over for next year. But um, I actually finished this one over one up here. And I had to stitch this that I know, so I know where to go with the rest of the quote. So my focus is going to be the rest of the quote. Um, and then going from there, this little dainty 40 peak count uh, is, can be selectively hard for me to stitch on depending on like if I'm super tired for the day or whatnot, if that makes sense. But um, okay, so I have seasonal focuses and I didn't get very far on my seasonal focus for, for January. Um, that's okay. I still have more of winter to come, but I wanted to jump over and see what I could get done on this one. I'm not going to say hopefully it's a finish. If these don't finish, I'll just carry them on for seasonal stitches for next year. But uh, I kind of wanted to give this some love. I, it was just, this can be very therapeutical stitching. Um, this does not go with anything in my house as far as decor, but uh, I'm stitching this one just for stitching this one basically because the it's amazing to me, the calm. So I am actually breaking these up into four different ones. And this is the winter season. So seasons, uh, colors of the seasons by Carolyn Manning. And this, and I had to put a T on it for what's top. So this is where I'm at on it. So this, uh, February's just started. So again with that, but, um, I was clear over here and then I fell down like, uh, I don't know, a color, like this one connects to this, this. And then I was like, okay, this one connects to this, this. And then this darker color kind of went that way. So um, I really, uh, this is my first Carolyn Manning that I am like jumping into. This had already been started. So this is not a new start. This had already been started over here. But uh, so the first time I did it, I was like coloring it and going blocks. And now I was like chasing the color. So I don't know. I don't know which way I'll be doing it. This is just on a, I believe a 32 count. Um, even weave white. So that is that stitch. Um, this next one, I told you I had to finish, but I also told you that I saw myself wanting to do this small. So I did dig out and decide to go ahead and get that started. So continuation, that's what I'm calling this. This piece is done. It's in the, on the same chart. This little piece is part of it. So I was like, I'm going to do that. So I did get a little bit of time, but not as much as I would like, but I started the tomato. And I didn't even get all the red done in the tomato, but it is what it is. So that, those, that'll be a cute little set. I'll enjoy that being stitched up. This next piece that I stitched on, I'm super excited to bring this back out. So one, I was considering canceling this. I was like, I, and this is just to me amazing what this can do for you. So what I'm talking to you about is the Christmas, Christmas Gingerbread Village by Little Fox Stitching. So sorry for the glare, but it's a little Christmas scene, okay? Looks gorgeous in there. And I picked out a, I don't know what count this is, but it's a, it's a glittery one. I mean, I'd probably do if I dig. See, it's got glitter in it. So let me see what count it is. It's a 32 count Belfast, Belfast Opalescent Raw. So yeah, super cute. Um, I really didn't realize how big this piece was gonna be, but when I first, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. When I first started stitching it, this is the color of the, it, the red was. And I literally, you'll see, I was stitching the red. And I was like, I, I, I don't like it. It's like too bright of a red for me against this. And, it, and I literally let this sit forever. I mean, 
get that card back out. Um, oh, I don't even have a date on here when I started it. So I'd have to dig to find that because that's how much I didn't like it. Then I was like, all right, stop being a baby. Unstitch what you stitched. Find the color you want. So I have one of those things and I pulled out the reds that I liked and then um, got my daughter's opinion. <laughs> and this is what we came up with, which cracks me up. So this is the red I went with. Can you tell the difference? No, not when I'm sitting there doing that to you. But this, the one I like is 816. The one I didn't like with this color was 817. Wow, really? That much of a difference is what you're thinking? But it is. So this is the one it called for, and this is the one that is, and I just like it so much for. So very happy with myself that I ripped it out, put it back in, and then some. So if you've been here for a while, you know I'm a border stitcher, so I will be going around um, the whole border probably before I jump in for any of the fun. It's hard to say with me, but that's my guess. Um, this piece, since I was like, it was taunting me for lack of better words, I decided that I um, am going to put stitching on it once. Once a month, I'm gonna make sure I get 300 stitches on it and then maybe it'll be able to play. And maybe in July, it'll have more for Christmas in July and maybe Christmas. I don't know. I, what I do know is I am dedicating myself to 300 stitches a month on this piece. So there's that. Um, and I'm saying, um, a lot today. <laughs> I say, I also have themed stitching days. So what I stitch on on Monday is referred to as my yeah. mini Mondays. Opie, come here. You guys heard a little bark from him. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, mini yeah. Mondays are lo Little House Needleworks, yeah. Lovable Petites. And I had this one done. I had this one started, but I went ahead and finished it. The next two are in a different yeah. color of this. All right, so what else do I have? I have What Wednesday. So What Wednesday currently right now I'm stitching yeah. on is year three of the Black Needle Society's Frog Warts. I did not use the color that was called for. I dyed my own. Um, and if you are familiar with the Harry Potter books, where did that one come from? Oh, that's, the, I know what that one's from. <laughs> Better remember that. Um, anyway, if you're familiar with the Harry Potter books, there's a, a book that talks and that's the madness that I'm working in. It's not done, but this week it should be done and hopefully I'll move on to a second motif. I had somebody say they loved uh, my bust deck here. Yay. This isn't even done all the way across. So, and uh, this fabric is just uh, something, like I said, something I died to come up with and, and do that stuff. So, and then the last thing that I stitched on is for the Grands Friday. It is See You Later, Ale See you later by the Happy Happiness happiness and this one is on a 32 count opalescent Lugana that is just white this is the section I got done see you soon raccoon and this is what it's looking like that light is just being stinker with me today it's fun I love it yes <laughs> yes 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 so that is my stitching for this week um I do have a few other things to share with you. So uh, if you remember, this feels like I'm so low. Um, if you remember, I, besides my Whipco board, I also have a craft Whipco board. And uh, one of the things that are, the one of my January things that I got in literally on the last day of January was I want to practice watercolors. I've had them from a year. I've been inspired by my friend Daylene and um, I'm so grateful. So because of that, I was like, I am doing this. So I literally pulled them out and did a quick little jaunt, uh, practice of them. I followed a video that's were their recommendations. So it was practice a couple Christmas cards and um, it's good for a first timer and learning is learning. So I'm sharing these with you. This is the first one that they have and I haven't chopped the bottom off or done any things. It was just a practice. So this was the first one. Uh, definitely, I mean, none of these are like male weather worthy, but it was fun to practice. So there was this one. The next one was the idea of this one. And last but not least was this one. So 
fun. Um, they're not supposed to be perfect and learning a new hobby can be challenging. And that's what I'm doing, challenging myself to um, a new hobby. So happy that those were done. So for the month of February, what I have is to frame a piece, which I I know how to do that. I just am, I'm, I just hold myself almost in terror and don't do it. So that is my one of mine for February. And the other one is to make a stocking. I will, because you see me make the little stockings on here from Blackbird Designs, I will probably make a fabric stocking first because, you know, we got to practice and then we'll go from there. But I would just like to obtain the knowledge to where I can go do that. So that is as far as my craft board goes. Um, I did receive something in the mail from um, my friend Jordan, which is the tattooed stitcher. And uh, she was giving away a piece that she was abandoning. And she was like, it's already started. You would just have to get the, buy the, the chart, which I did. And I super love it. I'm so excited about this piece. I love Jordan. I just could squeeze her up. I love Jordan so much. And um, I'm excited to like have a piece that would be like stitched on partly by Jordan. So uh, I'm going to show you what it's called the elf tree right here is what it's supposed to look like by soda stitch. And if you watch Jordan, you know, she's a huge soda stitcher. And this is the fabric, which I love. And it's like, I love it, but I'm always scared to do it. So the fact that it's already been started, like is so, I'm so excited for it. So, <laughs> so excited for it. So, um, I did buy the digital chart and I I need to go in and mark off uh, what has been stitched. Jordan's stitches are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they lay so beautifully. So we will go forward from this. I am not sure when I'll get that started. I gotta get it kitted up, but we'll, I do. But like this upcoming week, I have a chart for February the 10th, the year of the dragon. I need to get that set up and ready to go, which it won't take long, but, um, and then, I have another piece of haul and a couple exciting things to still share with you. So I have finished this tiny town a long time ago. I mean, like a long time ago. And it has sat like this because I, I like, I do this. I don't know what I want to do with finishing it. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to pull the pin and buy it. And I finally, my daughter actually saw the tiny towns and she was like, I love those. So I was like, okay, this is what I want to do for finishing. It's designed for this for finishing. And she was like, that is awesome. So I was like, all right, with that encouragement, I pulled the pen and I bought it. So what am I talking to you about? I'm talking to you about a paisley and polka dots, um, long wood decorate frame. So I have to still open it and I'm sure it tells me what I need to color. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I got, I got, I got to, I got to assemble it. I got to paint it and assemble it. And then I can mount those on boards and swap them on and out and I've been stalling. I mean, I just got it. So let's give yourself a little grace, Janet. Um, okay. One other thing uh, you saw when I was reaching into my bag, I have for years had these uh, little project cards that I created years ago. And um, I hand write on the back. I, I, I wanted to do writing on the back. I don't, uh, I don't know. That's what I know. I don't know. But um, I told my friend, I was telling my friend Amy, I've told a couple of people I'd like to hire somebody to do this. So I told my friend Amy and she was like, I could probably do that, Janet. So super cute. And if you notice, I got myself one of those printers to where when it's finished, I can print and do that. I don't, we'll see. I have a lot. I don't know that I'm going back. It'll just probably just be going forward that I do this, but um, it's a room so I can put a picture on next to it if I want. And the finishing card, we'll see as that progresses. But what Amy did for me is she put my little logo on there and she added a little birdie there also. It's got the dead space here so that I can put the picture in. And then on the front, she uh, found a different perpetual calendar. So, um, and this will work. I think it'll work. This is smaller. Like the cards are the same size, but the, the years are smaller, but I think it's fine. So what I do, and let me see if I have an old one next to me that has time. Nope. So when I do it for more than one year, what I, I do is I use a different ink pen is what I do. All these were done real quick. Okay. Here's an example. I found one. I found one to share with you. Um, stars hollow spring and stars hollow. You guys watched me just finish that. So, uh, when I, the year I started it, I started it in black ink 
And then we rolled over to 2024 and I wasn't done yet. So I wrote 2024 in blue and then I used blue ink. And I just do that just because of me. I don't have to do this. I just like doing this. Um, kind of like, because this doesn't really tell me how many stitches I worked on those days. It doesn't tell me um, anything like that. It just like in the general sense of things, I could be like, okay, it took me, you know, blah, 20 days to stitch this or whatever. So it's just, just for me. But this was super cute and I was excited about that so that I could print them out. She got uh, a, a stack. I think I, she, we got like a hundred of them printed out. But it's still something that I like to put in every bag so that I, I can keep track of what I stitched and whatnot. So that is super cool. Uh, what do I have planned for this week? I am gonna go stitch with Chrissy uh, one day this week. I'm super excited about that. I'm always super excited to see Chrissy. We like, and then it feels like the time goes by so fast and it's like, wow. Um, but the last part of the uh, Frosted Pump, Frosted Pump Stitcheries Castle Homecoming dropped and her and I had been stitching that together. We get together and stitch even if we're not on the same piece. But so that is going on. Uh, the next part of the Anderson, H.C. Uh, H. Anderson, the Clouds Factory piece dropped. So those gotta be done in the month of February. And then of course, all my new February things, you'll see a berry coming and a stocking coming. And I don't know. I don't know what else right now. <laughs> uh, I feel really small. Um, then that's it. So that's it as far as plans goes. We'll see what I have back next week um, to show you that I stitched on um, into personal life. Again, the potty training with Stella has been working great. That was a challenge last weekend. I would have told you like, I don't know what I thought. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I've been practicing, trying to get my husband on the same page as me. I think he is getting there. Um, but this weekend was uh, a very good success in regards to it. So that makes my heart very happy because that is the a big threshold. And then we'll see as we go forward from there. Um, as far as my grandkids get do, I'll probably pop in pictures in here, but we're doing the daily stuff. Um, it's winter time, so snuggles. Uh, we busted out. We have a wonder wagon, a wonderful wagon. Uh, we busted that out and went to the um, RV show. The kids dreaming about doing RV and my husband and I are like, been down that road. No, thank you. <laughs> but uh, I, it's fun to dream. It's fun to watch them know they have so much of their life ahead of them. Um, even as like the hubs and I have already done some of those and been like, not again. But we're getting to a stage where about like, okay, what's next for us, you know? Um, with my retirement coming close and then he's further behind me just by a few years, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I know that this community is something that will always be present in my life uh, of doing things. So there's that, but I am just rambling on now because I love chatting with you guys. Please drop me a comment. Tell me what you were working on. I don't know. Just, uh, interact. I love chatting with you guys. So with that, I'm going to get out of here so you can get on to your next floss tuber. So have a wonderful week. So please keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending you so much love. Bye!